Could everybody walk through today's video? Today's video, we're gonna look at this Smith & Wesson 9mm that I picked up. Bought it last weekend and I've been anxious to try this baby out. Oh yeah, this is a beauty right here. Let's load some shells up in her. So be my first time trying this one out. Gun's all been cleaned. Find out if it fires or not. One of the things I like about this is the fact that it actually works out great for left-handed people. I know in videos right-handed people are saying the clip release is kind of awkward, but for a left-handed person, it's right there. I can drop it right out. That makes it so nice. Some of the other things too that other people have said is, as far as the clips go, the clips should have came in and out like that. Instead, you gotta like pull them out, turn them, and then as such. Which is kind of a little pain in the butt, but it is what it is. It is a lot of fun to shoot. And the best part about it, folds in half. Easy to pack in my Jeep when I go in the bush. That's it, you're set up and you're ready to go. Good, the bad, the ugly. First thoughts of this thing, it is definitely super fun to shoot. Uh, the red dot sight, I mean, they're pretty cool, but I might look for a, like a three times magnifying one or something, or maybe just put it on a small scope instead. And probably gonna look at getting a muzzle brake for it. It's got a laser sight on the bottom. Tactical flashlight on the front, but we can't shoot at night, so it doesn't really matter anyways. The only issue I had is after I shot some rounds is when I went to chamber it, it would uh, have trouble loading, and I had to like pull it back and then push this little detent down, and then I could get a shell to chamber. I'm gonna give it another good cleaning when I get home, I could see a bunch of dirt in there anyways. All in all, Smith & Wesson, MMP, FPC. These work out to be a dollar a shell here in Canada and this thing is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you made it this far, if you know any cool accessories that I should get for this besides what I already have on it, let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.